all your thoughts is still nothing, nothing all that long. Uh, our mindset was, I tried to stress to the sideline, a win is a win. Even if we get three and nothing, it's, I'll be cool with that. It's still say three, three and one on our record, so really wasn't worried about blowing them out or nothing. They were, they were a great team coming off a bad week. You know, the first two games was some bad losses, but we knew they was going to give us everything they got, knowing it was a rivalry game. Some people would say that it wasn't a, a pretty win, but Coach Tuberville said that's pretty to him. He loves defense running the football. Is it, did it feel like a pretty win to you? Uh, yeah, anytime we can shut the opponent out, man, it's always a pretty win for me. Not counting what the offensive did, I just see what defense did. Like, I, I would rather win like that than to win 35 to 30. So, any day, I'll take the win 14 up at any day. What were you guys able to do to so consistently be in the backfield and disrupt their offense? Uh, I think our, our guys up front, the D-line, pushed them back a good bit. And the linebackers just shot the hole. So it all started up front. Our guys up front did a great job of playing a run and penetrating their run game. Shutting down that run game and knowing that you could, what did that do? You guys so strategic. It gave us confidence, especially after the first drive when we kind of got the feel for what they were going to do. And we made some adjustments, man. On our defense coordinator, Coach Kaufman, man, he made some great adjustments. Man, and put us where we needed to be. In the second half, I mean, they weren't getting anything. You guys were moving them backwards more than they were going forward. Did you almost feel like you knew what was coming next, that you could almost predict what you were going to do and how you were going to shut it down? Uh, I wouldn't say that, but I would just say that, like I said, the D-line did a great job. So he made our the linebacker's job way easier to just go fill the hole or go find the ball because they were taking up two guys mostly every play. So it was kind of easy for the linebackers. Yeah. How many hits you seen like that on the uh, kickoff return? Oh my God, man! That was the hardest hit I ever seen in my life. More than that was crazier, even crazier than Jamie on Clowney said. I was saying, man, that was a crazy hit. I always say Corey Mason is the hardest hit hitter on the team. Guys, victories every year.